Hey guys, welcome back to another video of CDB. And today, I'm going to be once again showing you how you can boost your FPS because Fortnite still haven't fixed the issues with stuttering and everything. This will either help a lot for you if you haven't done any of these steps before or help just a little bit. But this should reduce input delay, ping for some of you, all in general, just boost your FPS and make you stutter less in game. Now, guys, quick disclaimer: the results may vary. So I got around around a thirty uh, FPS increase from this. I've heard people say they got like a fifty or seventy. It really depends on how good your machine is. But yeah, let's jump into step one. So step one is I said this in my last video, but make sure to get rid of your temp files. So press do percent ten percent. Press OK. Do all this. Delete. If it just says this, just press skip. Okay, now you want to type run again. And you want to get rid of the percents. And just get rid of these. Done. So now you want to do run for well, the last time. Actually, not the last time. And type prefet. continue and you want to see all of this and you want to delete it now that is done recycle bin see all of this just get rid of it done so now next thing you want to do is press run once again this time Type app. Oh, actually, that is wrong. You want to do so this time. You want to do percent app data percent right there, and then you want to go back local. Look for Fortnite game. There it is. Saved config Windows client game user settings. Right click in game user settings properties. Make sure read only is unchecked go in there and then you want to look for your graphic settings so just keep scrolling here we are so you want to see shading quality this is usually set to free you want to just set it to zero and press file save right click and game use settings again properties check read only apply and okay just make sure it stays like that and so on to tip three, this tip is sort of a tip, sort of isn't a tip at the same time, because it's about timer resolution. Timer resolution does not work. It works as a placebo because it's a placebo because if you know what timer resolution is, it all it sets your input delay to less. But when you click on Fortnite, it automatically does that. So time resolution just wastes CPU space and yeah. And there's literally no point in having it okay another tip step four which quite a lot of people overlook and say this is somewhat dangerous but i can assure you it's not dangerous it will just it will just make your pc run perfectly so if you want to type in control panel system and security power options and then right here it's probably be set to balance you want to set it to either this or it should just say ultimate Whatever the second thing says, press that. And now you're done. Guys, I have a link to my other video. I'll have a link to my other video in the description. It, it's just other ways of getting your uh, FPS higher. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll be making more videos soon. Please make sure to hit that like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Goodbye, guys. Hmm.